Hey you! So today basically what I wanted to show you was a dupes video, which is basically where I show you, um, you know, a high-end product and I show you something that is uh, really similar to it or almost identical to it, but just at a lower range. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started and I'm going to start with mascara. But a couple months ago I picked up Max uh, Zoom Fast Black Lash and uh, it, I love it. I love it. I love it. But this is 14, 14 or fifteen dollars. I'm not exactly sure how much this is. The brush looks like that. It's pretty small. It's super, super pigmented, like super black. And I really, really love it. I've been looking for something that is similar to it, but obviously more affordable. Um, because mascara is something that you like throw away, or you should throw away every three months. So. I was looking for something more affordable than that, and I picked up the Falsies uh, Volume Express by Maybelline, and this is in Black Drama, and the wand is completely different, as you guys can see. I know my camera doesn't really focus, um, but basically you guys can tell the difference between the two, um, but I feel like it works just as good as the MAC, um, just because... Like, it's a really dark and pigmented, and it really, like, extends your lashes. So, I, I really feel like that's one really good dupe for that. And this is already, like, really inexpensive, I guess, but I found something even less than. Um, and I'm talking about the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils, and this one's in Milk. Um, and this can retail anywhere from 3 to $5, depending on where you buy it or where you purchase it. Like, at Ulta, I think they're, like five bucks and if you buy it like at a beauty supply they're like three dollars but what I found was these LA color jumbo eye pencils and I actually found this at a dollar store so this is a dollar compared to three dollars or five dollars however much you know you pay for it they're just as pigmented and just as good as eyeshadow bases as the NYX jumbo pencils you know we're always looking for the blackest black uh, eyeliner I recently purchased uh, Max engraved I'm not, I'm, I think this is one of the dark. this is a black, I think it's one of the darkest uh, blacks they have. It's black, but it's not as black as I want it to be. So then after I picked this up, I actually picked up Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Zero. So I picked up this one, and I found that it's a little bit darker, let me swatch these for you guys. It's a little bit darker than Max, but it's still not as dark as I wanted it to be. This is Max Engraved, the first one, and then this one is Zero by Urban Decay. And this one was fourteen fifty. I'm pretty sure it was fourteen fifty. And this one was twelve to fourteen dollars. I'm not exactly sure. But I found something that was even darker than both of these and ten times more affordable. Not ten times, but a lot like a lot less. So L'Oreal's Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner in Black is one of the blackest eyeliners I've ever tried. Like, let me show you guys. That's it right there. The, this one. That's it right there. Can you guys tell that it's blacker than the rest of them? And I feel like this one works even better than these two. And just because this one you can, like, smudge it out, but if you don't want to smudge it out, it won't. It won't budge either, like it's not going to like slide everywhere either. I hope you guys can tell that the last one right here, that's the darkest one. And it's only, I think, depending again where you buy it, you can get it for like, you know, 5 to $7. Just depends. Gel liners are really good, but they can be a little pricey, especially Max Backtrack, which I recently picked up, and it just looks like this. Um, and this has 0.10 ounces. And this cost me... I'm not sure exactly how much this was. I think it was like 14, 14 to 20 bucks. I don't think I paid 20 dollars. I'm not sure exactly how much that was. And a good dupe I found for that is the Black is Black uh, Maybelline Eye Studio. So basically it looks like this. You can find this at Walmart, CBS, wherever. So this one's pretty old, but I've had it long... I've obviously had it longer than uh, Black Track. And let me show you guys a comparison. These are basically, they basically have the same amount of product in it. Um, 
it just looks like a lot more because of the containers but they basically have the same amount of product in it and this is max and this is the one that you can find at the drugstore which is by Maybelline so this is the one right here is uh, max black track and this one is by Maybelline and they're identical they're exactly the same the only I mean the only reason why they're a little bit different right now is because uh, this one is a little old <laughs> I've had it for a couple months so it's kind of dried out but when you buy it like brand new is it, it's exactly like max like black track so again this is like 14 to 20 dollars I'm not exactly sure so don't quote me on that but this one however you can get it for I think ten dollars so I mean you get the same amount of product and it works the exact same way so again you can save yourself a couple dollars on that the next product that I want to talk about are lipsticks and I think lipsticks to be honest you don't have to invest that much money to get a really good lipstick so recently I bought Lady Danger by MAC and that's actually what I'm wearing right now you guys can see so it looks like this it's really pretty it's $14.50. You know, it's a little pricey for lipstick. I mean, lipstick lasts a good time, so it's not that bad of an investment. But, you know, you still want something a little bit more affordable. So, I found this NYX Arrows. I believe that's what it's called. Arrows. And I believe I paid $3 for this. What they look like. This is, the one right here is Max Lady Danger. And this one is... Uh, arrows by NYX. Can you guys see? There's a little bit of difference, but it's basically the same colors. For the price, it's just so good. So like I said, it's a better deal. Um, instead of paying $14.50, $3, you know? The next thing that I want to talk about are actually blushes. And I can't, I don't have, like I've told you guys before, I don't have an extensive amount of blushes just because I, I just don't. Uh, recently, I showed Max Pink Soon, which is like one of my favorites because it's <laughs> one of the only ones that I have. And this retails for twenty dollars. I paid twenty dollars for this. And this is the exact same color, but I want to show you guys just how pigmented it is. This is NYX blush, and this is only six dollars. And this is four grams, and this is six grams. You know, it's a little expensive for a blush to be honest with you and so I don't always want to pay twenty dollars for a blush you know um so this one was only six dollars and let me just show you I'm just basically showing you how pigmented it is they're not the same color so I can't say it's an exact dupe I just wanted to show you something a little bit less pricey so this is max pink soon right here and this one's a uh, cinnamon by NYX so you guys can see that the NYX is just as pigmented as the pink soon. So I mean, I'm pretty sure I could find a like a color very similar to pink soon. I just didn't buy it because obviously I have this one. So NYX is a really good alternative if you don't want to buy a Max, you know, blush. Uh, the last thing I want to talk about are actually makeup brushes, and. I get asked a lot like what makeup brushes do you use and the ones that I actually use are from Sigma and I bought them a while back and I, I bought 12 of them like it was a set and I think they were $100 if I'm not mistaken so I know that sounds like a lot but if you buy individual brushes, um, good quality individual brushes, they will be a lot more expensive especially like MAC brushes like you could pay anywhere from 14 to, I don't know, 20 $25 for a makeup brush. So, for you know, if you were to pay that much for each individual brush, it would be a lot of money. So, um, you always want to think about that kind of stuff. I really suggest that you invest rather than, you know, buying one makeup brush at a time just because that will actually cost you a lot more. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions on the dupes or any other products mentioned, or you want to see other kinds of dupes, then go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.